I'm gonna start with my seatbelt. My seatbelt is not cracked, not damaged, not broken. There's no thread separation. And it's easy lock and easy unlock. You know, my seatbelt mounts are not cracked, not damaged, not broken. There's no nut bolts missing and they're both properly mounted. And I'm gonna make sure my brakes are engaged. My truck is in neutral and there's no one around my truck. So now I'm gonna safe start my truck. So my ABS light comes on and my ABS light goes off. So my ABS system is working properly. Now I'm gonna safe start my truck. Okay. While my air pressure is building, I'm gonna start my in-cab inspection. So my fire extinguisher is not cracked, not damaged, not broken. It's not leaking. It's ABC rated. And my needle is in the green, indicates a full charge. And my safety pin is always on and my fire extinguisher is ready to use. My, my three safety triangles are not cracked, not damaged, not broken ready to use. My floor area is not cracked, not damaged, not broken, and it's always clean. And then I have six extra fuses ready to use. Then my defroster, go to this position, heat all the way on, and then turn on your fan. My defroster is working properly. And my AC is working properly. Turn it off. Then my windshield is not cracked, not damaged, not broken. There's no seal missing. It's properly mounted. And there's no illegal stickers. And my windshield's always clean. Then my windshield wipers are not cracked, not damaged, not broken. There's no nut bolts missing. No rubber blade missing. And my windshield wipers are working properly. Then my dashboard is not cracked, not damaged, not broken. Properly mounted, always clean, and nothing blocking my view. Then both my side mirrors are not cracked, not damaged, not broken. There's no illegal stickers, always clean, and easily adjusted to the driver. Then my door is not cracked, not damaged, not broken. Properly mounted, always straight. It's easy to open, easy to close. My door handle is not cracked, not damaged, not broken. There's no knuckles missing, properly mounted. My window is not cracked, not damaged, not broken. No legal stickers, always clean. Then easy up, easy down. Then my steering wheel is not cracked, not damaged, not broken. Properly mounted. And my steering wheel play is not more than two inches. Then my city horn is working properly. And my highway horn is working properly. Then come the lights. So this position is my low beam. My low beam is working properly and my high beam is working properly. My left indicator is working properly and my right indicator is working properly. And my four-way flasher is working properly. Then all of my gauges are not cracked, not damaged, not broken. There's no needles missing. There's no leaks, no nut bolts missing, and they're all mounted properly. Then my oil pressure gauge, the needle is rising normally, and my pressure should be between 30 and 80 PSI. Then my water temperature gauge, the needle is rising normally, and my water temperature should not be more than 210 degrees. My RPM gauge is working properly. When I push the accelerator, my RPM goes up. When I release, my RPM goes down. My speedometer, I'm gonna check when I do my service brake test. My fuel gauge, I have enough fuel to drive. My primary air gauge and my secondary air gauge, my air pressure should be between 120 and 145 PSI. Then my voltmeter should be between 12 and 14.5 volts and it's working properly. So now I'm gonna do my first three brake tests. I'm going to start by testing my trailer brake. So I release my tractor brake. Put my truck into drive. Okay, 
Okay, so my tractor and trailer didn't move, so my trailer brake is working properly. Now I'm gonna check my tractor brake. I engage my tractor brake, release my trailer brake, put it back into drive. My tractor and trailer didn't move, so my tractor brake is working properly. Now I'm gonna check my service brake. So I release both of my tractor and trailer brakes, put it into drive, and put it into a low gear. And I'm not going more than five miles per hour. Okay, so my speedometer is working properly and my service brake is working properly. Now I'm gonna reverse back to the same spot. So I make sure my truck is in neutral, engage both my brakes. Now I'm going to place my chocks on the tires. my chocks on the tires and I put my seat belt back on and I release both of my brakes. So I released my brakes, I lost pressure and I'm going to build my pressure back up. And now I'm going to turn the key to the on position so my gauges are on. Okay, so first I'm going to do my one minute air leak test. And in one minute, I should not lose more than four PSI. So I'm going to push my service brake and not let go. So I pushed my service brake and my air gauge needle stopped at 110 PSI. So now I'm going to start my one minute. Okay, so my one minute is complete and I did not lose more than four PSI. So my 
test is complete and my system is working properly, now I can release my foot from the brake. So next I'm going to do my low air warning test and my low air warning light should come on before 55 psi. So now I'm going to pump my brakes. Okay. My low air warning light came on at 70 psi so my low air warning system is working properly. Next I'm going to do my pop out test and my pop out should happen between 20 and 45 psi. So I'm going to begin pumping my brakes. I'm going to watch my air brakes. So both of my air brakes popped out at 25 psi. So my pop out test is complete and my system is working properly. Now I'm going to safe start my truck again, make sure the brakes are engaged. Truck is in neutral. Don't want around. And then turn on my truck. Now I'm going to pick up my chalks. 